to one of the final few videos in this series. We're going to be talking about shoulder pauldrons and leg armor. So we're going to start with some 5mm craft foam. This is a little bit thicker than the normal craft foam that I use. Um, and you can see up at the top there I have just a basic support shape that I kind of like eyeballed and figured out. But for these shoulder pieces we're going to start with our pattern and go ahead and trace a total of four. You're going to need two for each shoulder so we're going to trace a total of four of these templates onto our foam. Okay, once that's all done, we're going to go ahead and cut those pieces out. And these are the shapes that you should get. So we're going to go ahead and take our support pieces and make sure that those line up pretty well. We're going to go ahead and heat up the craft foam and make some creases. Now I had a really hard time visualizing how to get these exact shapes. Um, based off of like the, the image that I was using, my reference picture, um, but I was pretty happy with the end result. Probably eventually I might redo them, but for a quick fix, this worked out really well. So you're going to heat them up and fold them over and just keep them folded until the, um, the foam cools down so that way it ret retains its shape. Okay, so you can see that this has been sitting for a little while and it's maintained its shape nicely. We're going to go ahead and take our hot glue and just glue those pieces onto our shoulder support. I already have one completed on the left there that has been primed with Plasti Dip, so I'm going to go ahead and take my second shoulder piece and just make sure that the angle is matching up and that they're basically going to be forming the same shape. All right, then I'm gonna go on to the other side and glue the other half of the shoulder on in the exact same manner. Um, again, just lining up and making sure that they are even with each other. All right, there we have it. So um, I decided that I didn't really want that center piece because I didn't want it going across my shoulder. Um, I went in and just cut that little piece out and it was fine. They still had some good stability and I didn't really have to worry about um, them flopping over. They stayed up really nicely because I used the thicker foam. All right, so same painting procedure you guys have seen me use in every video in this series. Um, after I primed with Plasti Dip, I just covered with my hammered steel spray paint, and then I'm going in with my black matte acrylic paint to make some shadows, um, line the edges, and just give it um, a little bit of a more overall distressed look, because that's um, you know going to give it some dimension and some character. So again, basically I just take my black paint and do my edges and then I do anything that has like a corner um, or a fold to it and then basically just give it a good overall rub when I'm done to give it more um, of a, a steel armor look. And that's basically it for the shoulder pieces. So um, now we're going to move on to our leg armor. So I'm going to go back to the 2 millimeter craft foam that I was using for most of my armor and I'm going to trace these patterns on. Now you're going to need two sets of these because we have two legs so we're just going to go ahead and trace the pattern onto the craft foam and then cut it out. Once that's all done I'm going to go through my process again of heating. I'm just heating the center of these because this is going to have a nice sharp fold to it and I want to make sure that that stays that way so I'm going to crease it really hard and then again same thing with the shoulder armor we're going to keep it folded until the craft foam cools down so that way it maintains its shape. You're going to go back in and do that with all three pieces. You can even use a marker, the edge of the spray paint can, um, some clay tools, whatever you have available to get that crease nice and sharp there. The sharper the crease, the more like metal your foam will look and the more accurate your costume will be. Okay, now that we've got all three folded, um, you're just going to go ahead and start to hot glue. So 
So just do a thin line of hot glue along the edge of your layers here and then line them up. I numbered my pattern and just kind of realigned my shapes to make sure I was putting them on in the correct order. Right, so we're going to run another thin line of glue along the other side and then attach the other half of the foam. And then we're going to take the third and final piece and put that across the top. Once that's all done, similar process where we're going to coat with Plasti Dip and then spray with our silver spray paint. Then we're going to go in and do our distressing with the same black matte acrylic paint. We're going to paint along all of our edges and then um, once you've got all of those edges nicely blacked out, we're going to go back in and do the overlap edges as well too. You can see a little bit better here exactly what we're doing. The lighting's a little bit better. Once you've got those black lines, I like to go back in and just kind of rough it up a little bit more to make it a little bit more realistic and battle hardened. Now we're going to glue our Velcro on. Now I use Velcro to attach it to the back of my calves um, and I just kind of position it on my leg so I know exactly where I'm going to put those Velcro pieces. I used uh, two sets of Velcro straps. I just used the self-adhesive Velcro but for the opposite side to reattach it um, I used the hot glue so that way I only had to worry about velcroing down one side of the strap. And then we're going to do the same thing with the second piece of velcro. Okay, and you can see here I've gone in and done a little bit more distressing just so it matches up exactly with the boots. Um, and those are the two pieces of armor. So I kind of can't believe this video series is almost over, but stay tuned. Um, I'll follow up shortly with my completed video and we will see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye everyone.